Our next animal at work believes he has what it takes to be beside the seaside. It's donkey work at its best. So pack up your bucket and spade. That's to clear up the poo, not to make a sandcastle. And join us for some fun in the sun. Come on, donkey. <whistles> We're headed to Skegness in England. This is Sam, the trainee beach donkey. He's been handpicked for the job by boss John, who brought him over from Ireland six weeks ago. If he comes up to scratch, he'll be carrying kids along the beach. John's family have been running a beach donkey business for almost a hundred years. Sam hopes to join the rest of John's beach donkeys, almost 50, that work along the beaches of Skegness. Well, I've been brought up with donkeys from since I can remember. They are actually pack animals from the Middle East. They can stand the sand, they can stand the sun. Rain, they don't like. A donkey's not waterproof. He hasn't got a waterproof coat. People think they're stupid, they're not. Donkeys are very intelligent. It's their intelligence along with their calm and patient nature that make donkeys perfect for working with people. But before <coughs> Sam can set foot on the beach, he has to pass a fitness test. Every year we have the annual inspection uh, where the uh, donkey sanctuary comes along to us. So what they're doing is checking the general health of the donkey. A donkey can have a working life of 15 years, around a third of its life. So it's important that Sam's healthy and safe to do the job. So what we'll do is with Sam, we'll just check his teeth to make sure everything's OK. We'll just have a feel round in his mouth now. Feel those now, they're lovely. I'm just going to check his feet now. You're not going to hurt the donkey. What we'll do is we'll just clean him out. I'm confident Sam will pass his test today. It's up to an inspector from the donkey sanctuary to do a top-to-toe health check. If Sam is passed today as a beach donkey, he'll have an absolutely wonderful working life on the beach. <laughs> Lovely, bright, alert eye. Ah, we've got a little bit of marking here. Now, should he fail, he will then be just maybe in a field during the day and he will get rather fat and very bored. He would prefer to work. Donkeys do love working with children. Now, for a four-year-old donkey, Sam has got a good figure, but he doesn't need to put any more weight on. So with teeth and hooves checked, Sam's medical is done. It's a tense time for Sam. Both he and John are all ears to hear the news of whether he's able to join his pals on the beach. Well, John, um, he's got a few marks on his neck, which I think will clear up within time. Yes. And you mustn't let him get any fatter. <laughs> but I think you're a very lucky beach operator. I think he's a lovely donkey. He's been past fit, clean bill of health. <laughs> The next test is, will he make it on the beach? The big day has finally arrived. At last, Sam gets to feel the sand under his hooves. But the real test for Sam is if the kids like him. We're going to put a child on in a minute and just see how he takes to it going up and down the beach. Sophie is first to take the plunge and have a go on Sam. I think they're very cute. I'm very excited. John needn't have worried. Sam is an instant hit. I like riding on Sam. He was very bumpy. And he was very good. The queue to have a ride on Sam builds quickly. They can't wait to climb aboard the new boy. You good? Tell ya. I would like to ride on the beach 
doggy because I, I love them to pieces and I really, really like them. Sam was very bumpy. Very, very, very bumpy. He's really settled into the job. I'm very pleased with him. And uh, Sam's made the grade. So with the kids' thumbs up, Sam can look forward to a long career on the beach.